some demotivation when scores drop in the uh, preparation to the exam or during the revision so jacob this question is for you so in 11th when i start my preparation my scores were really bad like or how much ever i try take in more effort my scores weren't increasing it was stagnant in that 550 range i couldn't go above 550 i didn't know why but then slowly i start introspecting what happens why am i why i'm not able to score i realized that my concepts were not clear uh, or i didn't ask doubts to the teachers like i wasn't clear in a part but i hesitated to ask doubts so i f realized that i had made some mistakes there so realizing what mistakes you have done and changing your preparation strategy discussing with your teachers discussing with your parents all these will make you realize what is your mistake and correcting that i guess brought a change to my score so once i started asking doubts being clear with my concepts the scores naturally increased from 550 it came to 600 slowly above 600 above 650 so once when i realized my mistake and uh, worked on my preparation strategy and started going in that direction the scores naturally increased so uh, realizing your mistake in your pre uh, preparation strategy and correcting it would be a way to improve your scores and it's a two year long journey you're sure to have ups and downs so even at your lowest point have the uh, trust in you have faith that you can improve you'll be able to improve in the near future so having this trust and uh, working hard will help you improve your scores yes uh, thank you thank you jacob so anyone else any inputs so divyan what is your take on this even the week before need i got a uh, less score on the 600 but i didn't get that into my mind i keep on working hard and i have faith and trust in myself i revised my physics chemistry biology concepts uh, on ncrt and uh, i absorbed my scores increasing from 600 to 650 and, uh, and achieved 666 in NEET. Uh, don't lose faith and uh, keep on working hard. That's the key to success. And test analysis is also very important. When you get low marks, don't be demotivated. Do test analysis and correct the mistakes. And never hesitate to ask doubts to fac faculties because they, are, they will be very helpful. Even if you ask the doubt uh, in 10th uh, time or 20th time, they will ask. Uh, they will help you because uh, they are very kind and they are very dedicated to help you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Wonderful. Anyone else? Yeah, Saravanan, please. Uh, when I get low marks, uh, we'll just know that uh, the mistakes will be either uh, careless mistakes like uh, plus, minus, minus, plus or uh, formula mistakes or we'll not throw the concept. So, just take your text, test analysis book and uh, start uh, introspecting and uh, know what why you are making mistake and uh, next time we are doing the exam you should be careful and uh, slowly you should read the question to avoid the careless mistake check your calculations and uh, first thing is not be panicking about getting low marks marks will improve when you start studying and just keep uh, the self-confidence and uh, you should have that self-discipline that uh, you should be studying all the time you should not be uh, very sad and demotivated that's all yeah, thank you. So, Sanjana, can you hear us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can uh, one, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can hear you. Sanjana, can you see the question here? How to overcome demotivation when the scores drop? So, this is a question that all the toppers are answering. Can you please give your inputs? Uh, so, as I said, one thing that is like common all over uh, competitive exams in coaching centers is fluctuation of score. So, one exam like you, uh, you might get very good score, but the next you'll get a, a very low score. And the first thing to understand here is that that is completely normal and, um, and it happens. So, once you understand that, uh, it is easy to overcome that. So, so um, I would say that when you're in the preparation, you cannot uh, read every chapter to the fullest 100%. Uh, so there will be concepts that you're not fully uh, in strength or your weak topic. And if questions come from those topics, obviously your score will drop. So I would say that your 
score going down is actually a good thing during practice exams because only then you know where you're weak at and you can focus more on those topics uh, and like if you keep getting questions uh, from your topics that you're strong at then you'll never know what you're bad at so uh, that is a part of the learning process i would say and um one thing that is very important is not to take the success to the mind or the failure to the heart uh, being level headed uh, is very very important in preparing for a competitive exam and uh, i i would say that would make a big difference like not getting overconfident by good results or not getting demotivated by failure